All right. Excellent. So this morning I provided for you, actually it was the team that provided for you these nice prayer cards. And what they have on them is a prayer before the crucifix. Um, as Catholics, we have the blessing of having great sacramentals. And in every home and in every room, except for this room, um, we have a crucifix, pretty much, you know. Um, oh, there you are. Woo! Um, Not very big, but it's there. So the crucifix here, this is a wonderful indulgence prayer. And uh, if you want to learn about indulgences, you can come to one of my classes sometime. But indulgences are a great gift of the church. And I wanted to have this, and you can, you can actually pray this prayer on Fridays after having received communion during Lent. And you would receive what's known as a plenary indulgence, a powerful, powerful gift of, of Christ and the church. And so um, I want to have that, and, and I want you guys to take one of these with you. But I want to mention something that's interesting, because a lot of times what happens is if you're exposed to something on a daily basis, whether you hear it often or you see it often, a lot of times you take no notice of it whatsoever. Did any of you guys come here by way of many stoplights this morning? If you're on sugar loaf, it's like 35 of them, something like that, right? <clears throat> How many of you could tell me with absolute certitude whether the green light was on the top or the bottom? Uh, the green light's on the bottom. Isn't that interesting? That you see so many lights, and yet you don't even have a clue which it is. We take notice of certain things and other things that we see every single day, many times over, we don't even think about. And I think that that's sometimes what happens with the crucifix. We have them so present in all the areas of our home and this sort of thing that we take no notice of them. And so I wanted you to have an opportunity to take the chance to use this, this prayer card in the season of Lent to really focus on what happens, what our Lord has done for us in offering himself as a gift to us on the cross. Um, now this prayer is a wonderful prayer and it prays for many different things. It's, it's Latin word is in ego, I don't know the rest of it. Um, <laughs> But I figured that you could add this to your kind of morning, uh, you know, uh, routine and regimen and say, okay, uh, with your ego waffles, you can have another ego, okay? And this one will keep you from waffling, okay, in your faith. So, um, so here we go. So what we'll do is we'll recite this prayer together, and we have the image of our Lord here, and it's a beautiful prayer. So for this morning, I want you to, to take the time, and throughout Lent, keep this in your wallet, and pull it out. If you don't have a crucifix, at least you have the image of our Lord here on the other side of it, okay? So uh, we'll pray together. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Behold, O kind and most sweet Jesus, I cast myself upon my knees in thy sight, and with the most fervent desire of my soul, I pray and beseech thee that thou wouldst impress upon my heart lively sentiments of faith, hope, and charity, with true contrition for my sins and a firm purpose of amendment. While with deep affection and grief of soul, I ponder within myself and mentally contemplate thy five wounds, having before my eyes the words which David the prophet put on thy lips concerning thee. My hands and my feet they have pierced, they have numbered all my bones. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Now, I want to mention something to you, because as Catholics, we have crucifixes. And if you were to go to many Protestant faith backgrounds, or if you go to a Protestant community, a lot of times you won't see a crucifix. And actually, the readings for today in Cycle B, if you're going to the 1030 Mass, have the recitation or the remembrance of the commandments. And they mention uh, uh, graven images, not making graven images for yourself. <clears throat> now. This is not a graven image, and the crucifix is not a graven image. And you might be interested to know what the Catholic response to that is if someone says, well, you have graven images all through your church. You have the saints and statues. You have crucifixes on the wall. Well, the reality is, is that when God commanded that the Ark of the Covenant be built, what was on top? You guys watch Raiders of the Lost Ark? What was on top? The angels, right? He commanded that there be gilded angels on the top. So God is not forbidding us to make an image of something. He's forbidding us to worship the image, right? Even whenever Solomon built his temple, he had images of different things like fruits and this sort of thing that were on the walls, okay? So it's not a, it's not a negative thing to have these things to remind us 
but we want to make sure that we take the time to really think about them. Okay? I had a beautiful occasion in my own life uh, where God reminded me of the, the gift of, of the cross. And it was when, <coughs> sorry, it was when my wife was, was about to deliver our first child, Naomi. And we were in the hospital and we had to go through a, a C-section and she was strapped down to the table in cruciform. <laughs> and she was looking at me and they, you know, they had the little divider there and, and I, was, I was worried that she look away because to the right of her was this bottle that was filling with her blood. Oh. Yeah, and I was like, oh, just keep an eye on me. <laughs> keep an eye on me. So don't look over that way, right? But the, it was great. It was a beautiful image because here she was on the table and it was life-giving love, right? Sacrificial love. And that's the kind of love that Christ gives to us on the cross. Life-giving and sacrificial love. Isn't that beautiful? So uh, Christ reminds us often, and we want to make sure that we don't take it for granted. It's a great gift that we have, a sacramental, uh, to focus on and think about the, the wounds of Christ and what a great gift he's given us and the great gift of love he's given us. All right? All right, so we'll close. Uh, well, I, uh, we already closed with the prayer. So we're all set. And I'll have uh, Paige and, and Todd come forward, and we all set. So thank you guys. Who's I, who was I?